Hey, it's Kevin. Welcome back to the Road Warrior video blog. This week we're talking about, well, the driving experience. As I said, every now and again I talk about driving when I'm driving because it kind of comes to mind. But a recent news story has made me, well, think about driving a little bit more. We had a road, a road, a road rage incident recently in Nashville that was actually in the city. Somebody had taken an Uber or a Lyft or something like that or had picked up some people or were dropping some people off at one of our local halfway houses homeless shelters called a room at the inn. And they were blocking traffic because they were letting people out or doing whatever they were parked and they had their hazards on. And a guy behind them was honking and trying to get them to move out of the way so he could pull around. And they didn't. And finally the guy pulled around or whatever it was and then circled back around the street and came out in the guy and got out and pulled a gun on him. I'll never forget the first time I had a gun pulled on me in traffic, 1987, Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, I was working in radio there and it was 9 to 5 part of the job and was heading home that day and traffic was always heady, heavy. I didn't have to use interstates. I was always on back streets and it was a, a long shot two lane road that was a good 40, 45 miles cutting through neighborhoods or whatever. And I mean, I. A guy was behind me or something like that in a pickup truck, and I don't remember. Was it? Did I have my Suzuki? Did I have? I don't remember what car I had. I'm a small car. It wasn't a big car by any stretch of the imagination. I didn't drive big cars. And he was like wanting to get around me, and so finally, on a no passing two lane road, he sees a thing and, and passes around me. So I honk and basically, you know, give him the Italian salute, as they say, flipped him off. And all of a sudden, he jams on his brakes and hops out of his car and pulls out a gun and make some disparaging comment about don't you ever question how I drive or something like that. I didn't say a word, let him get on his way, and then he went. That was 1987. Yeah, 32 years ago. Now road rage has gotten worse. I don't know if it's people feeling entitled. I don't know if it's the frustrations of the world we're living in today where we're so divided. I, I don't know what it is. I don't know what part of the culture causes this road rage. I have my moments on the road. Hey, I'll be the first to tell you. I will honk horns at people and and look and give them the evil stink eye and, and yell at them and scream at them or whatever. Um, as my wife will tell you, I'm notorious for the, I can drive with the windows down often. And if somebody does something, I will yell out of the car window. And with my voice, it carries well enough that even in traffic, even in the city, people can usually hear me. Now, I don't know if they necessarily hear me clearly, but they hear something. They notice. And I, I expressed to them my concern for their particular driving or the way they're conducting themselves. Call it road rage, perhaps. I, I don't think of it as road rage. I think it about as being courteous. Right now I'm driving up the interstate highway and I'm in the right-hand lane, where I should be, where we're all supposed to be. And when I want to pass somebody, I get in the left lane and I pass and until somebody comes up upon me and then I'll move back over to the right. I don't care. I don't necessarily like the way they're driving. I don't know if they're driving the speed limit, driving over the speed limit. It doesn't matter. It's all about being courteous. It's all about not impeding somebody else's way. You know what? If you want to drive 100 miles an hour, hey, go, go have at it. I'll get out of your way. Just don't impede my way. Just don't get in my way. Let's all be courteous of one another, and I think that's what we're missing. It's a sad statement and a sad commentary about the world we live in, where we're all out for our own selves. All we think about is ourselves. More and more road rage on the road all the time. And I'll be honest with you, I think at this point in life, there is truly nothing that's going to happen. There's nothing that's going to change that. Because I don't think we can make people be more cur cur courteous. I, just, I don't even think, I think we're long past that. I hope not, but I'm afraid it's the truth. One truth I can tell you this, next week another Road Warrior, that's for sure. We'll try to be courteous. But that's why we only give you one a week. KevinMason.us, the home for each and every of the 300 plus episodes of the Road Warrior. I know, you think it's exhausting watching, imagine doing them. Um, Facebook, YouTube, post them there as well. I've even found them on some other video sites too that I didn't post there and, well, I, I don't mind. doesn't bother me. Oh, that was my window shade going down. I better hang up and get back to fixing that. See you next week. Another Road Warrior. Thanks.